Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, MJ Tesla Life Video Reaction Edition. This is going to be a video reaction to a pitch meeting for a Pirates of the Caribbean 3. So let's hop into it and let's all have a good laugh. Here we go. So, you have a new Pirates movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So you know how the last one just kind of ended with nothing being resolved? Yeah, that's right. Jack Sparrow died and Barbosa returned from the dead, and then we just kind of cut to black. We sure did, sir, and by doing that, we pretty much ensured that people would come see this one. Because we kind of violated the concept of what constitutes a movie. That's right, I remember. So what happens in this one? Oh, we're gonna start this one off real strong. Amazing. By hanging a child. Oh my god, what? You see that bad guy, Beckett? He's just hanging a bunch of pirates and they're gonna start singing a song which for some reason is gonna call on the nine pirate lords to convene. Oh there are pirate lords? Yeah it turns out pirates have an intricate political system with lords and kings and both Jack and Barbosa are pirate lords. How'd they become pirate lords? Unclear but so they need to go get Jack from Davy Jones's locker so he can convene with the other pirate lords. How do they plan on getting there? Well they go get these navigational charts from this other pirate lord in Singapore. Okay. So they follow these charts and they suddenly go over this massive waterfall that shows up out of nowhere, and that leads them to Davy Jones's locker. The massive waterfall wasn't mentioned on the map? <laughs> no, because this way it's a fun surprise for the movie. Oh, nice of the cartographers to consider the audience. So then we're gonna meet up with Jack in Davy Jones's locker, which is a very strange place. Oh, it is? Yeah, he's got like a bunch of other Jack Sparrows in there with him, and he has a ship, and there are a bunch of rocks that are actually crabs. So is this like a spiritual place or a physical place? Yes. <laughs> Didn't the Kraken swallow him at the end of the last movie? What happened there? Did the Kraken poop him out? Unclear, but speaking of the Kraken, it's gonna die. Oh man, it's gonna be cool to see the Kraken get killed. That thing was intense. Yeah, definitely. Gonna happen off screen though. Oh. Yeah, it kinda just <laughs> happened in between movies. We're gonna see its dead body on the beach though. Okay. So anyway, the gang all heads into Davy Jones's locker to get Jack, and then they need to figure out how to get back to the land of the living. So this is a physical place then, because people can physically go between there and the real world. Yeah, except no, not really. <laughs> oh, I'm very confused. So then they manage to get back to the world of the living by flipping their ship at sunset, which is how this works for some reason. Wow, so death really isn't permanent in these movies, huh? It's all very vague, sir, which allows us to bring main characters back from the dead, but also not do that for minor characters. Their own fault for being minor characters, I guess. They should have known better for sure. So then they're gonna go to the Brethren Court on Shipwreck Cove and meet with all the pirate lords. And what's gonna happen there? Oh, just a massive scene talking about the pirate code and pirate politics. Oh, yeah, the pirates have very strict and intricate rules and everybody has to obey them. If there's one thing people know about pirates, it's that they're all about <laughs> rules. Yeah, there's actually gonna be a ton of talking in this movie. Every dialogue scene's gonna last about 10 minutes of people explaining who they're backstabbing and why. Oh, did you need to pad the runtime a bit or something? Nope, the movie's gonna be three hours long. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, also I thought we could have Keith Richards cameo as Jack's father since Johnny Depp based the character on him. Oh, that's very exciting. What are we gonna have Keith do? Oh, you're gonna like this a lot. He's also gonna talk about politics. <laughs> Extremely fun. Oh, it also turns out that dog that keeps popping up, that's his dog. Wasn't that dog left on the cannibal <laughs> island at the end of the last movie? Yeah, maybe this dog is magic. I don't know. We're just gonna kind of go all in on the magic stuff, because maybe that's what people liked about the first movie, hopefully. Jeez, I hope that's what they liked about it. Fingers crossed. So then we're also gonna find out that that Tia Dalma lady from the last movie, she's actually this goddess named Calypso. Oh. And there's this whole thing between her and Davy Jones where they were in love and she's the reason he cut his heart out. Pretty unhealthy relationship. For sure, and so since Calypso brought Barbosa back from the dead, he's gonna release her from her human form, which all the pirate lords put her in. Oh, what does that do? Oh, well, she turns into a giant and then a bunch of crabs and then she makes a whirlpool thing. <laughs> you know, those do sound like things that may as well happen. It's all nautical and magical, so it does feel right, yeah. Then there's gonna be this big ship battle against Davy Jones. Oh, are physics gonna be a thing? Not at all. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing that thing where if Jack Sparrow cuts a rope, that turns him into Spider-Man. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Wow. And then we're gonna have this really wacky scene where Will and Elizabeth, they make Barbosa marry them in the middle of a big fight. Weren't they in a weird place after she kissed Jack in the last movie? What led to them getting over their differences? Well, the movie's almost over, sir. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, gotta wrap that up for sure then. So then eventually Davy Jones is gonna stab Will Turner in the heart. Very rude. But there's this thing where if you stab Davy Jones's heart, you become immortal, but you also have to captain the Flying Dutchman ship. Oh, so this is another one of the death loopholes. Yeah, we got a ton of those. 
so then even though Jack wanted to be immortal himself, he makes Will stab the heart to save his life. Oh, a very considerate <laughs> stabbing. So then the ship sinks, but then it pops back up with Will as the captain, and he has a fun bandana now, which I guess he found at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> oh, underwater bandanas are tight. So then they have to go up against Beckett's ship, and this thing has cannons on both sides. Oh man, it's gonna be tough to take that down. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. <laughs> oh, really? You see both the Flying Dutchman and the Black Pearl attack from opposite sides, so this thing just gets ruined. <laughs> but you said it had a bunch of cannons on both sides. Yeah, but it didn't use them at all. <laughs> Why not? Well, because Beckett was busy having one of the coolest looking death scenes ever put to film. <laughs> oh, he was. Yeah, he's just gonna slowly and gracefully walk around the ship as every bit of it explodes right behind him after every step and all around him. It's gonna look incredible. The cannonballs just keep hitting everything but him, and the ship being actively destroyed doesn't affect his balance at all. Yeah, well, physics and probabilities aren't a thing in this movie. Also, it's gonna look incredible. Well, okay, great. And so then all the other ships from the East India Trading Company, they're like, all right, bye then. Why don't they attack? Do they not have as many ships as the pirates? Oh, yeah, no, they have like hundreds more ships than them. So then why do they leave? Well, the movie's pretty much done, so we're gonna do that thing where when the main ship is destroyed, all the other bad guys just aren't a threat anymore. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> so then Will's gonna impregnate Elizabeth. Oh my god. But then because of his new curse, he has to leave, and he's only allowed to come back on land once every 10 years. And there's no way around that? Nope. Very sad. Well, I mean, we did show Davy Jones standing in a bucket of water on land earlier, so I guess he could do that <laughs> if he wanted to. But Will's not gonna do that. No, he's not gonna do that for some reason. Well, okay then. And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, I mean, it sounds like a nice end to the trilogy, you know, really close the chapter on these pirates movies, right? I'm just kidding. I'm gonna need you to end this one by setting up a sequel. <laughs> Will do, sir. Uh, I hope you guys had a good laugh on that. Uh, yeah, points out as usual. Flaws, big flaws. And definitely logic does not fit here. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoy this and you have a wonderful day or night. Take care of yourself and the ones you love. Bye-bye.